for the first step it's called copy clip and this is one of the best copy and paste organizer that you can download for your mac so this is the problem with the copy and paste say that you copy this so you just copy this link with command c and then after that you just go to a new thing and then you copy that way by click on command b but things the last thing you copy is gone but things with the copy clip you will go to your menu bar again see everything you copy it doesn't matter if it's a week ago or a month ago it's still there and by swear about this if you just tap on it it's gonna get copied automatically so now you can just click on command b to paste it how cool is that in this video, I'll share 10 of my favorite apps you need to download for your Mac to get the most out of it. And for the best part, all apps are absolutely free. For app number two, it's called Quick Reader. So anytime if you read an article, like you get annoying ad like this one, like in the top, there's an ad. Uh, if you go down, there's another ad right there. And if you even go more down, there's another ad right there. So with this, it make a reading article, any article really annoying. If I go to a different website, it's the same story. In the bottom there's R, in the top there's R. But things with this app is called Quick Reader, it actually fixed that. So with this app is gonna get rid of all the ads and it's gonna make your reading so much easier. So for this, there's a keyboard shortcut you have to press. You have to press on Command, Shift, and E at the same time. After that, you can wait for two to three seconds. After that, it's gonna open up the app. Look at this. All the ad from the website is gone. Every ad from the website is gone. And with this, it makes your reading so much way better. Look at this. If you just go down, you can highlight things. I can read it. So all the section is gone. So now let, let me show you this again. We, we're going to the uh, first website. You click on the sh same thing. And after that, wait for a two to three seconds. And boom, just like that. Every ad from the website is gone. For app number three, it's called Dropover. And this is one with the best uh, file organizer for your Mac. So, and for the best part of it, this is like a DAG and drop system. So let's say if you need to select this file, if you just drag it and then it's gonna open up with this new shelf. And if you need to select more file, if you just copy it. So you should select like a more file and and you can just put it there. Then if you just tap on the down arrow right here, it's gonna open up this menu so you can see everything that you copy. So that is actually a pretty dope. So you can see legit everything. But this for the best part about this is that if you actually tap on the plus on the right hand corner, you're gonna get this menu. So you can just send this as an email. You can airdrop this. You can iMessage this. Uh, there's a tons of things you can do just right from that. But things for the best part about this is that if you need to copy something else, you can just tap on the new shelf. After that, it's going to open up in another drag and drop file. And now you can just copy the file to the, that as well. For app number four, it's called Pocket. And anytime you find an article really real interesting about things, you don't have the time to read it right now. This is the app you need to download. So this is the app called Pocket and this is a relayer app. Only thing you have to do is just tap on the share and after that, you have to just click on save to Pocket. So after you download the app and after that, you have to just click on dismiss. And after that, if you just open up the app Pocket, and just tap on save the article gonna be saved right there as simple as that and if you tap on it you can read it instead from the article instead from the app but things if you don't like to read it from the app that if you want to go but if you go back and just double click on it and after that it's gonna open up on the browser so now if you want you can read it from the browser other than reading it from the app so it just really depend on you for app number five it's called alt tab especially if it comes from windows user that anytime if you click alt tab you can see which window is open and also which app is open at the same time so anytime if you're doing something it's easy to go back to that so that same thing bring on your mac as well with this app if you click on a comma and tab you can see which app is open and that's it so with this app alt tab is going to bring the same thing but for a mac so just click on option and tab and now you're going to see which app is open you can see and also you can see which window uh, open as well so for my safari there's any window there's on pocket so you can see everything that is open uh, that is pretty cool so this is actually pretty useful as well and, and if you want to go between them you can just go between using your mouse and, and if you just tap on them it's actually going to open as well for app number six is called tiles so this is going to bring the same feature from a windows computer to your mac that if you want to go between two apps it's the same concept but for here so just if you just drag a app on one side and if you just drag a app on other side and it's gonna uh, happen so for this you can do the same thing so uh, let's say with the safari and i want to put this to the right i just drag it and then move it to the right as simple as that so now i'll just open up uh, like a different app so i'll just open up uh, like a different a uh, browser to show you guys that that it actually does the same thing but with a different app as well so after I open it up, I just you're gonna drag this and put it to the left. As simple as that. But things now if you need to do between four apps, I can do that as well. So after you just drag it to each corner. So let's do the same thing for Safari as well. So so I just drag it in the bottom. Look at this. So now I'm so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two app as well. As simple as that and with this it make your life so much easier and for the best part about this you can do this with any app you want 
For app number 7 is called one thing and this only have one job just to remind you with the most important task only thing you have to do you have to open up the app and it's gonna show you right there so over here you can just tap in any eating task you have to do so for me i have to record this video so i just put that in and after that if you just tap on the arrow it's gonna be closed just like that after that if you just go to the menu you're gonna see that uh that task is showing there so for the best part about this is gonna remind you every time you open your computer or, or in the menu it's gonna remind you that so for this just put your most important task that you have to do for the day let's say you have to go to the gym so just put that in after that it's gonna remind you every time if you use your computer so this make your life so much better so this is one of the productive app that you should download for app number eight it's called image optim and this is one of the best uh, app that you can download for your mac because with this it's gonna save so much storage so just drag a image there and after that just give it a few minutes because this actually takes some time for the time it actually depends on the image file so if the image is really big it's gonna take some time so with this app it actually it put the image and anything that is not necessary from the image is gonna take that out so it's gonna make the image file smaller but things it still is gonna take the original for the image file it's gonna make a smaller but things it's still the image is gonna look original and it's gonna look good and for the best part about this it's gonna save the copy as well so if you want to see the difference you can just click on it and you can see the difference so now i'll just drag it so now they drag a small image to show you guys it just took like two seconds to do this because this is a really a small file so now if you just go on the right you're gonna see for the saving it is 71 percent of the image file but it's still the quality is good for app number nine is called Numi, and this is one of the best calculator app you can download for your Mac. So if you're using the default calculator, make sure you switch to this right now to get the most out of your calculator. So for the first thing is the most obvious thing. So obviously you can do your basic calculation. So you can do multiplication, division, addition. So you can do all of this. So for this example, I'll just show you a quick one and look at it. It's give you an example really quickly. But things for the best part about this next thing you can do, you can actually convert. So let's say I do like 100 cm to like a different thing. I can just do that and it's going to give me that immediately. So I can, so not only I can do that, I can do feet, I can do inches, I can do yards. So I can do all of those at the same time as well. Okay. So Okay, so if, so if I show you guys another example like this one, it actually works immediately. It's just not, it's really simple. But things, there's another thing you can do. You, you can actually convert to any currency one. So let's say I need to do like a $40 in euros. I just type that in. After that, it's going to uh, give me that. As simple as that. And just now, it takes only a few seconds. So make sure you guys switch from a default calculator to this app. For app number 10, it's called Today. And this is one of the app that actually in, it connect to your Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, your Fantastical. So it connect to all your calendar and then it's going to bring that calendar to your menu. So any important event coming up like this one is going to show on your menu. So that you didn't have to open up any app. So you didn't have to open up your Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, Fantastical. You didn't have to open up any app to actually see your upcoming event. And for the best part about this, that you can actually create an event just from here without even opening any of the app so for example if you just put something on your apple cal so if you put some so if you just put an event on your apple calendar using your phone it's gonna show up on this app as well because it actually sync with all those calendar app so this is like a productive app so anytime if there's an event you can just see it's there from your menu bar so without even opening any of the app so that is it for this quick video and if you want to see 15 more apps you have to download for a mac and those apps are free as well make sure you click on this video and peace out